I'm not gonna lie, daughter has a gun on Yagi, her brain fried. My lady popping Zenny, had her lady popping Molly, why she waiting on me? Yogi in my area, yogi in my area. Keep on heading if you want, I'd rather let you know. I don't care, you're just trying to know, like I'm Bango, cutting my hair. I just keep going though, so she's gonna make what I know. Stop, Kelly, it's a New York, put them with a hop on Drive out and riding birds, honey, berry, counting doves I do what I wanna do, quick at night, money, one, none and two Pussy, my, my, my the guy you've just been watching is called Will Easy. He's a super stylish sponsored rider. Me, on the other hand, if you were watching me, you would have turned off by now because I am bang average. Not just on the bike, but literally across the board. Like I'm 40 years old, 5'10 and a half, nine and a half nine and a half shoes, 86 kilos, six and a half inches. Like the list goes on. But I've not always been average. Once upon a time, I was, I'd say, above average. At fitness, actually, I was quite competitive at CrossFit. And I stumbled across CrossFit because I wanted to supplement my riding with some gym work, and it did really work for a short time. However, I hung up my bike because I realized that I was better at fitness and I was addicted to something that was really good for me. And actually, I lost passion for riding and replaced it with my addiction to fitness. I left my job, opened a gym, but then with that, attracted some riders in so that they could get fit for professional riding. That was over six years ago now, and that was the birth of Fit For Racing, which now sends out programs globally to riders just like you, average Joes, all the way up to pros to help them get fit on the bike. But right now, back to me, I lost my mojo during lockdown for fitness, and I took my bike off the wall and found mountain biking passion once again. And this is where we are. I've ridden now probably 18 months pretty solidly. And I'd say that I'm back to an average rider with the help of YT, who are now partnered with Fit For Racing because we share this vision of passion for riding and fitness and how they can coexist so that everyone can get the best out of their bikes and bodies. They gave me an uncaged six Capra, which is literally the bike of my dreams. I'm looking at it right now. It is amazing. And that has helped my riding, but my skills need to be better. So I spend my time riding my bike, doing a little bit of fitness and programming fitness for you guys and the professional athletes. Okay, so James has signed me up to the EWS, but what is the EWS? Simply put, the Enduro World Series. And as it sounds, it is for the best riders in the world. Oh, so I, I think I'm dying. Oh, I think it's for everyone the same. Which is insane, because I'm not that great. But you might not even know what an Enduro race looks like. In my opinion, enduro racing is the best of all types of mountain bike races because it replicates quite a lot of what you do with your mates. You transition between downhill trails and then go down as quick as you can. But in a race format, that means that there are transitions between timed downhill stages and the accumulation of your time throughout the day will give you your total time and obviously then the quickest person throughout all of the stages then wins. So to find out more about why I've been signed up to this race, I've invited James down to the Fit for Racing HQ to explain exactly that. So James, EWS 100, you realize that I'm a bang average rider. What on earth are you thinking? EWS allows the everyday rider to enter a top level race with an exceptional experience. And therefore, I thought you would be perfect for it. <laughs> I appreciate that. But I mean, am I the right guy? to show off the capabilities of the Capra. Yeah, but you are average. That's what we want. But, Darman! Oh, all right, mate, how's it going? Darman, Johnny, Johnny, Darman. Nice to meet you. you so I take it you're the fast guy in the office? 
Apparently so. I'm very flattered that James says that, so thank you very much. Good. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of just um, a weekend warrior myself, so I've had some racing experience. Done a few EWS 100s before. A f uh, when you say a few, is that like 10? Nah, single digits. All right. um, so yeah, they're still like a, a fairly new thing to me. But Have you done the EWS Tweed Valley, the one that did we... Did that last year. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. And where did you come? Um, so I did the EWS E100. Yeah. Um, I actually managed to win that. And then I did the EWS 100 <laughs> after, and I came 19th. <laughs> Just the perfect guy to help you through. All right, yeah, okay. But like fitness wise? Um, I'd say the most training I've done before a race is probably not go to the pub the night before. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I haven't really done any any fitness-based or weight-based training whatsoever. Um, I just like in your life ever. Not really. Maybe GCSE PE. <laughs> um, but that's about it. Yeah. So Johnny, if you can help JD get race ready, you've got roughly 12 weeks. JD, you can help Johnny. Try and speed him up a little bit on the bike. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, yeah, sounds like a good partnership. I'd just like to say at this stage, it's not a competition because you'll clearly beat me. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, hell, if I can get better on the bike with your help, I'm chuffed and I can pretty much guarantee I can get you feeling better racing. So what I'm gonna do is we'll set you up on fit for racing. And first part of call is do the tests on there so I can really see how you are physically and what you're capable of. Sound good? Sounds great. So see you in a couple of weeks. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm on our website right now and I'm going to the testing part in my dashboard. And in there, we can have a look at a series of tests. Each one needs to be completed. So the core program runs central which most people will follow, but with our help, you can identify to see if you need more strength work or more capacity work, and we'll point you in the right direction. Q testing montage. Yeah, taking these chances. They wouldn't give me the answers, so I gotta go out and get it. I'ma hold them off for ransom. This how I planned it. Did it right here where I'm standing. Came from the mud, they counted this out. Now we standing on the planet. JD and I have now completed all of the in-gym tests. And there's no surprise that I could do with working on my capacity. And JD could certainly gain some strength. The tests will influence the training going forwards in preparation for the race, but ultimately, neither of us know how we do on the bike. So I've invited JD to come with me to Inner Lethen, which is the first location of the EWS and where we're actually going to be racing in June. For a benchmark, we've invited a friend. <laughs> yeah, let's yeah. say, we can just hard cut. So I've traveled seven hours to come here, which is a testament to how good the riding is. Last year was my first EWS season and we had a whole year of sort of sunny alpine riding and then finished the season coming here. It was really muddy. It's very, very different to the other rounds. It's dark in the trees. It's really tight in the trees. A lot of sort of sniper routes that will catch you out that you don't see coming. So very, very different to the rest of the year. So that's how we finished last season. Now we're going to be starting it this year on the same venue, hoping that some of the same trails will be used. And that's what we're going to try and do today. But like I say, I've traveled a long way to come here. It's an amazing venue, very, very physical. No chair lifts, no gondolas. It's a perfect place for the guys to dive in and have a go at realistically what is going to be the first round of the EWS this year. Right, let's get to the top of the hill and uh, get the timing out. Wait. Woo! So we're dropping into uh, pre-drinks, stage one of the previous EWS. Come on, Johnny! Come on, Johnny. Get it! Go on. Okay. It's always a mad feeling being up here, even if it's just a practice day, you know you've got a full run ahead of you. We've only been up here a few minutes, so it's quite realistic. On the, on the real race, you do your liaison and they'll time it, so you've only got a few minutes rest before you before you drop in. So he's set off in quite realistic conditions, but because I'm going last, I get a big rest, so no complaints. Johnny's looking pretty quick down there. So he is. Why, I'd have to put the cranks in and uh, try a bit harder. Pressure's on, let's have it.
get roots. <sighs> Pre drinks done. Let's see how JD and John will do. All right. How's that? It was good. Kept it upright. Didn't have too many moments, but uh, lots of sitting down, lots of being <laughs> fatigued, and any time it got really chunky, it was just yeah holding on for dear life. Yeah. But uh, yeah, my little arms couldn't take it for much oh, longer. Man. So cool, right? Let's have a look for Jono. He should be coming soon. Nervous, mate. I feel like the pressure on me. See you down there, mate. So that's not as hard as when we did it in deep mud. Oh, right. But fighting for speed the whole way down, aren't you? It's techie. Yeah. You just like, you have to be so precise and the more fatigued you get, the harder that gets, so. And that's only stage one. I, my worst fear is wet roots. Yeah. I came off a couple of times. It wasn't even that wet. Compared to last year, that was a lot grippy. I'm not saying that was actually grippy though. That was a, a tough, tough stage to ride. But um, I think when it's slippery, you just have to go a bit slower, but it's really unpredictable. And you kind of just have to believe that everyone else is making mistakes as well. Like no one's getting down there perfect when it's slippery. Yeah. I feel like that is the toughest one of the day. So yeah. little arms need some work. 
I need to learn how to turn right. <laughs> <laughs> Jobs are good, and then combined, we might be as fast as John Hill. <laughs> See that position there? Yeah. You're perfectly balanced. 